The University of Nebraska at Omaha is a home away from home for many Afghans. Abdul Rahim Yassir has worked for 20 years here developing educational materials for use in his native land. One of the silk screens that we did for um, uh, biology classes uh, in, for Afghan schools, and this shows the blood circulation. The university also maintains a large collection of books about Afghanistan, managed by Shaista Wahab, who came here 26 years ago. Part of the collection consists of some very old and rare books. Those old books, most of those came through Arthur Paul's donation, and most of them are dealing with the uh, Anglo-Afghan wars in the 19th century. She says these works interest students here and draw scholars from all over the world. The main force behind the University of Nebraska at Omaha's Afghan Studies program is its director, Thomas Gutierrez, whose fascination with Afghanistan started when he was a Peace Corps volunteer there in the mid-1960s. Uh, she said that she had sent you her copy of the progress report. By phone and computer, he can keep in regular contact these days with U.S.-sponsored provincial reconstruction teams working on the local level to train teachers and improve community resources. Sources. What we're doing is trying to provide in-service training to teachers so that there is a kind of standard body of teaching pedagogy that each teacher, regardless of his or her training, uh, is following. Although Gutierrez visits Afghanistan every year, he says the Taliban guerrillas have made it too dangerous for U.S. students to work there. He says the Taliban threaten Afghans on a regular basis in some border areas. They're able to continue to move back and forth across the borders of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and into villages and pass out night letters uh, suggesting to people that we're, we're watching you, and if your daughters go to school or your wife teaches school or you work with the Americans, we're going to get you and we're going to get your family. Gutierrez says the vast majority of Afghans have faith in U.S. efforts to help their country but they're uneasy that Osama bin Laden and others involved in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, remain free. Gutierrez draws on his more than 40 years of Afghan experience in his lectures and in special briefings for U.S. government officials. Governments come and go, or administrations, but people, citizens, people-to-people -people activity, those are the things that will have the long-term uh, impact on uh, not only the Afghans but on Americans as well. He says the greatest legacy of the Afghan Studies program lies in the hearts and minds of people here and in Afghanistan who have come to know each other through it. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Omaha.